Good morning kids. This is Joydeep Rakshit, your design thinking coach. Today we learn the other processes of design thinking. So the today's process is define process. Let's do it. So define process, what is the define process? As the word from the define, it means we have understood the empathize process where we have interviewed, we have observed, we have taken into consideration the awareness, all those aspects we have taken into consideration. We have collected the data, we have observed the data and we have come into some insights. So from those insights, now we need to clearly define the problem. So what is the problem your group audience is facing? So we need to understand those problems. So to understand those problem and defining those problem before defining this problem, we need to ask a lot of questions. So chase with your curiosity. So we need to ask a lot of questions. Initiate the inquiry process. Some questions will be off topic, some will be of abandoned along the way. But when you ask your own questions, you grow more curious, more excited and more empowered to own the creative process. So once you become more curious, you keep on asking a lot of questions, you start getting much deeper into the process and you make yourself more creative. Reduce the fear of asking questions. Are plants alive? Do plants have life in them? So in today's world, curiosity, it is reducing. The kids are more curious. When they are small, they ask a lot of questions. But as the age increases, our curiosity decreases. But it is always said, and it is very good for our own learning, the more curious we are, the more intuitive we are, the more we learn. So curiosity, we should not go away with curiosity. The kids who are more curious, they ask a lot of questions. But as the age grows, we stop our curiosity, we stop asking questions. But it is always good to ask questions. Out of the questions, the birth of invention happens. So objective is to reduce the fear of asking question and being curious. You have to be curious. The more curious you are, the chances of getting, bringing a new solution to the world is more. Define. So defining the problem what user problem we, you will be trying to solve. So what is that problem you are trying to solve? You have to define that problem in a very clear statement. In other words, what is your design challenge? What is the design challenge you have? Define problem and arrive at a problem statement. This statement will give us the necessary direction to proceed towards the issued phase, issues faced by the customer. So in the design challenge phase, we need to understand what is the problem that we are trying to solve. So before even trying to solve that problem, we should first know very clearly what is the problem that we are solving. So that problem has to be defined. So in this phase of design, define, of design thinking, we try to define the problem that we are trying to solve before even we get into that problem. Cover all points and the answers that we got in the empathize phase. This is where the process of synthesis comes into the picture. We have to club all the answers together and convert in them into a coherent single statement. So we have to synthesize all the data and the insights that we have got from the empathize phase and then come out with a single problem statement out of that, which makes sense for you to solve a problem for a group of people or an audience. So point of view, a point of view is a meaningful and actionable problem statement which will allow you to ideate in a goal-oriented manner. So you finally you will come down to a point of view, POV, okay? That point of view will take you towards the direction of understanding a single goal problem. Your POV captures your design vision by defining the right challenge to address the ideation sessions. A POV involves reframing a design challenge into an actionable problem statement. So define stage is all about being an actionable problem statement. You articulate a POV by combining your knowledge about the user you are designing for. 
his or her needs and insights which you have come to know in your research or empathize mode. Your POV should be an actionable problem statement that you will derive the rest of your design work. So from if your point of view POV or the problem statement is not clearly defined, the next steps of the design thinking fails. So this has to be very actionable insight has to be taken into consideration. Then finally the problem statement has to be finalized. Until we do a very detailed and a clear understanding out of the problem statement, then the rest of the design, uh, design work or the design challenge doesn't work at all. So at this stage, we need to understand the untold pain very clearly or the pain points From these pain points, we will derive our problem statement. So for example, a problem statement can be how the continuation of education happens in this pandemic period. So that was the problem statement. It has to be very clearly understand. So if the schools are not able to open, how? the classes are supposed to happen in the pandemic situation. So then came lot of solutions out of it. But until the problem statement is clearly defined, it, ha it is not going to give you the outcome. So we have seen this is what the problem statement has world work on for the education perspective. For other businesses also, there has to have a problem statement. There has to have a clear problem statement which defines your goal which defines your roadmap as well. So to clearly define your roadmap, you need to have a clear problem statement. <coughs> you articulate a POV by combining these three elements, user. So who is your user? You understand who is your user? So in this case, the users, say for example, in the case of online learning, it is the users to continuation of the education. Users are students. All of you are the users need what is the need the continuity of the education the continuity of the class continuity of moving from one class to the another class so the academic sessions is important is the need insight insight is you move from one class to another class and the academic year continues once you combine these three elements of user need and insight you can articulate your pov point of view by inserting your information about your user, the needs and your insights in the following sentence. User, descriptive, need, because, insight. How much we question. So this is how you will create your POV. When you have defined your design challenge in a POV, you can start to generate the ideas to solve your design challenge. So first step is to define the POV, the design challenge. You can start using POV by asking a specific question starting with how might we, in what ways might we. So how might we. So now that we have defined the POV, we have to understand and by brainstorming, how might we, we take up this design challenge? How might we, we take up this problem statement? We need to take up this problem statement. So how might we take up this problem statement? <coughs> Example in case of youths are not to engage to TV as the following. How might we make TV more social? So youths feel more engaged. How might we, we enable TV programs to be watched anywhere, anytime? How might we make watching TV at home more exciting? Similarly, for online classes also, we can have how might we make the online classes more engagement, engaging? How might we, we make online classes more effective? So we need to ask this question so our answers will start coming out from there. Understand the process or the problem. Have a clear picture of what they need to figure out. Have a clear picture of what they need to figure out. Conduct interviews or needs assessments, research articles, 
watch videos, analyze data. So this is very, very important before even deciding on it. Think of this as the research part of research and development. So we are still trying to understand the process or the problem. Problem statement and importance. Identify the gap between the current state of the problem and the desired state. So what we have to identify is, so first step is untold pain. Two, unexpected gain. So, my current state is no classes because of pandemic. The desired state is classes and learning material. So, how does it happen? So, from no classes, this is a problem, two classes, but it's not possible in this school. So, how do you do that? That is through some online tools through which you will be able to take up the classes online. So that is the point A, this is the point A, this is the point B, where we want to be. How do we go from point A to point B? Through some tools which help us in taking up these online classes. So a point of view statement frames this problem or need in a way that is actionable, which is from the problem state to the desired state, the current state that we have. From the current state to the desired state, desired state is classes, current state is no classes. Problem or POV statements can take various formats but the end goal is always the same to guide towards a feasible solution. So a feasible solution is very, very important. So we have to take the user from an untold pain or from a pain point to an unexpected gain. This is the journey which has to be made. Framing design problems. From the user's perspective, I am a young working professional trying to eat healthily, but I am struggling because I work long hours and don't always have time to go grocery shopping, prepare my meals. This makes me feel frustrated and bad about myself. So, this is a user perspective. So somebody who is not having time eating unhealthy food, not going to able to go to the grocery shopping and not able to prepare food properly, that makes them feel frustrated and bad about themselves. So it is the current state. Where is the desired state? Where they want a healthy food in spite of they are not able to go and buy the grocery and being in the same time while they are working, they will be able to get a healthy food. So something, some food which provides them the healthy food on time without even cooking the food or even going to a grocery shop is the desired state. So any product which can fulfill that particular solution to this particular user, that user is happy, he adopts that particular product and uses that particular product. From a user research perspective, busy working professional need an easy, time efficient way to eat healthy food because they often work long hours and don't have time to shop or meal preparation. Based on four W's, who, what, where and why. Our young working professional struggles to eat healthily food during, healthily struggles to eat healthily during the week because of sh she is working long hours. Our solution should deliver a quick and easy way for her to procure ingredients and prepare a healthy meal that she can take to work. So who is the person who is struggling? What they are struggling for? Where they are looking for the solution and what, why they are looking for this solution? Once you have all these answers, then you will prepare your own solution accordingly. The four W's. Asking the right questions will help you put your finger on the right problem statement. So you have to ask right questions, which are four W's. So what are those four W's? Who is experiencing the problem? So for example, school is experience, was experiencing the problem of teaching the kids 
because the schools were closed during the lockdown, during the pandemic. But how do they teach? What was the problem? The problem is how do they teach? Where does the problem present itself? Because of the pandemic, there is no contact is possible physically. So that is where the problem is present in itself. How does it matter? It stops the education system itself. So what schools did innovatively is they came out with online classes and they are teaching all of you so that your education continues. Online learning, who is experiencing? So same example, students who are unable to attend lectures. What is the problem? Use of, band, use of bandwidth, clearing doubts with the faculty teacher. Where does the problem present itself? During school hours or while classes are going on. Why does it matter? Students need to understand concepts and get their queries answered in a timely manner to complete the course and do well in the exam. So this is one example where we are understanding about the four W's to understand and frame the problem. Writing a meaningful problem statement. So how do we do that? Again we use the five Y's. We have already used five Y's in the previous process of empathize. Now we will use five Y's in this process of define. Another question based strategy, the five Y's technique can help you delve deeper into the problem and drill down to the root causes. Once you have identified the root cause, you have something that you can act upon somewhere specific to focus your problem solving efforts. So you now understand the D problem. Let's take our previous example of young working professionals. Why is she not eating healthily? She orders take away every day. So these are the questions that being asked. Why does she take orders take away every day? Her fridge and cupboards are empty. Why are the fridge cupboards empty? She hasn't been a grocery shopping in over a week. Why hasn't she been grocery shopping? She doesn't have time to go to the supermarket. Why doesn't she have time? She works long hours and is exhausted. So this is how we reach to the last point where the person is already working long hours and exhausted and doesn't have time to go for grocery. So what is the solution? They should not eat? Yes, they should eat. They should healthy foods? Yes, they should he eat healthy foods. So somebody who is trying to create a solution for this particular user, they will create a solution based on this particular user's problem. The problem is they lo work long hours and exhausted. The root cause here is that lack of time. So your solution might focus on efficiency and convenience. Your final problem statement might look like something like this. Young working professionals need a quick convenient solution to eat healthily. So this is the problem statement. See, this is the problem statement. Young working professionals need a quick convenient solution to eating healthily. So this particular problem statement defines the defines process for the design challenge to work into the next subsequent processes. So now once we have defined that this is the user who is having this problem. So we need to further define the users. What is called as creating the user personas. So now we need to create the user personas. So it is only one person who is experiencing this problem or there are a group of people who are experiencing this problem. Are their problems all similar or there are certain changes? Who are these people who are facing this problem? Persona development is a process of humanizing your target user, giving more voice and character, making them real. Personas are fictional characters created to represent your group of target users who exhibit similar behaviors, patterns, motivations, and goals. So they exhibit similar behavior, patterns, motivations, and goals. A well-created persona provide realistic and detailed description that include behavior, pattern, motivation, goals, skills, attitude, challenges, and environment with a fictional personal details, including a name to bring the personas in life. So you can give a name to that person as well for your own idea or for your own problem definition. So how to develop user personas? Step one, 
review all your clusters user insights and user needs from across your user interviews so you have to find your clusters user insights and user needs from your user interviews distill those information relating to behavior patterns goals motivation challenges pain points needs etc add fictional personal details such as name to bring the personal life so you can add your name also give a name to it like you can give a name as a avatar you can say avatar customer avatar add some narratives or story to reveal the persona's lifestyle so where does the personal persona spends their life what are the activities they do what are their likes what are their dislikes what is their interest what they don't like and social context what they do what is their religion what foods they eat where do they stay so persona development process review all the findings and themes and insights so this is a persona which looks like this with a this photo you can define a photo also of a persona determine the number of personas to create so you have to finalize how many personas are existing for your product or your problem whether only one persona is existing or multiple personas are existing so you have to understand what are the personas for example in the eating healthy food option there can be another persona for example there can be a person who is not well have to eat healthy food stay at home but nobody is there to make food for them and they are not well they also need a food which is healthy in nature and they can't cook as well so they can be another persona from the previous persona which we have seen where a young girl who is working long hours in the office doesn't have time so in this case the problem statement defines the time in this case also it is the healthy food so the persona is different but the target customers are different but at the same time the food is same so it depends on who can be your persona so you have to find out what are the other personas in your whether existing or not if it is not existing it is fine describe and sketch out the persona details so you have to write all the details their name what is the age group they belong to where do they shop what do they buy where do they live what they like what they dislike whether they are married or they are single where are they traveling are they going out of country whether they travel within the country are they do they go for vacation all those things you have to find out about the persona and then finally you create a complete refined persona using the template so this is the template okay so you give a name say for example i give a name of say joydeep so what is joydeep does his age his gender his home family does he belong to a family what is his education background whether he is graduate post graduate or doctorate or what what is the education background what are the goals do are they in job or they are in business if they are in job what type of job they are in do they travel or they stay station in the same location all those things you have to come out with motivation what motivates them does they love reading books what interests them if they do they like to meet people all those things will come into over here hobbies and so so all the hobbies will come over here social and family lifestyle how many people are there in their family where do they interact do they socially interact or not all those things will come challenges and pain points so this is where you will list all the pain points what are the pain points like in the other case we saw that not able to go to buy the food or even buy the grocery because in end of the uh, most of the time that girl was busy in her office so all the pain points so what is their behavior are they frustrated why they are frustrated if they are frustrated how do they behave in the frustration all those behavior will come over here deep need statements to by doing the five why we have understood that we can understand the deep need out of that particular person and diversity of the needs what is their needs in different situations what all products they need after they eat food do they need a drink all those things diversity of the needs we need to understand this is how 
यू क्रिएट अ परसोना और अवतार सो एवरी प्रॉब्लम इज एड्रेस टू अ अवतार एवरी प्रॉब्लम दैट वी हैव डिफाइंड वी डिफाइन और अ डिजाइन चैलेंज डिफाइंस अटैचेस टू अ परसोना और अ अवतार सो दिस इज हाउ यू फाइनली प्रिपेयर ए परसोना डॉक्यूमेंट फॉर योर प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट so for example we have another example over here we have rohan whose age is 7 years he is a school goer studies in an international school loves sports both outdoor and indoor games loves playing with new toys loves gaming right pain points stuck at home unable to play outside Bo a board with the same old games toys and activities keys to sell unconventional games which are fun as well as educative are hard to get hold of unsure of what games to play what rohan is looking for explore different new options to satisfy needs of leisure fun and learning identify any product or solution which can satisfy his particular need so this is what rohan is looking for to explore a, dif a different new option to satisfy need of laser fun and learning identify any product or solution which can satisfy his particular need so this is another example of a persona so we have bikram who is age is 41 years working professional works in mnc culture loves keeping his kids engaged and spend time with them always on the lookout for something new to give to his kids pain point lack of knowledge as to what to purchase he doesn't know what to purchase and where to purchase doesn't quite know what will actually be beneficial for the kids also he doesn't know if he gives any toy which might not be beneficial for learning for the kids or it gets addicted or so he doesn't understand he doesn't know about that keys to sell communicate value perception of program games how they will help in his kids whole brain development so that is the perspective from the other side what vikram is looking for guidance and solution as to what programs or games to offer for purchase of his kids so this is how you define your persona so in this particular session what we have learned is how to define a problem once you define a problem then you to define a persona which for which this problem statement is for so from here we understand more about the defined process most of the other sessions we will be learning other processes of the design thinking thank you kids